Okay, we're going to start with the nation. 17 billion naira cash, EFCC detained social investment scheme coordinator. Hmm. Budgets of 63 government owned enterprises made public. Some will arrest soldier, three others for riding against traffic. <clears throat> government withdraws recognition for Benin Republic and Togo varsities. Stock market opens with 665 billion naira gain. Why lawmaker A, he resigned by Fubara. It's my turn to be a dose next governor, says Shebu. 10 billionaire scandal rocks Naipo's restructuring plan. Governors lift plate to killing victims with 100 million naira. 11 killed in Quara multiple road crash. Okay. Okay, so I have the 10 billion um, Naipo uh, scam. So the Senate was investigating or has ordered a probe into the 10 billion restructuring funds released to Naipo's by the Federal Ministry of Finance. This is because they discovered that Naipos Properties and the uh, Development Company and Naipos Transport and Logistics Services had some irregularities in their, in their agency's um, account. So they resolved that it must be uncovered. The alleged illegal transfer of federal government shares in two of these Naipos um, subsidiaries to private individuals. What they discovered was that the BP, the Bureau of Public Enterprise, and Naipos staff members were listed as shareholders of the two of these two agencies um, I earlier read out and so they've ordered that the records of these companies be confirmed by the CAC and some top officials of the BP uh, um, control significant shares of these subsidiaries which should not be um, one of the um, somebody spoke on, uh, anonymously saying that you know it would be wonderful to find out a few years that the next of kin of this the various individuals show up claiming federal assets yeah. yes. as properties of theirs and that, you know, these are things that shouldn't be. I expected that the BPE would have even done something very, very uh, neat and transparent. Right. They emphasize the need for um, prudence, um, you know, um, diligence and transparency. Uh, lack of, I mean, you know, transfers without corruption in this arrangement and they're insisting that NIPOS be investigated Okay. On this particular phone. All right, let's take on that story, Nation. Um, yes. Go ahead. Okay, I have the major headline. Yeah. So, um, the CEO of the National Social Investment Program Agency, Halima Shehu, yesterday was suspended and shortly after arrested by the EFCC in connection with uh, what is described as a movement of 17 billion from the NSIP account into some suspicious um, accounts within one week. Um, they said that the money had been intercepted and recovered, but she's still in detention as of, you know, this morning. And um, there's also going to be a quizzing or interrogation of the, ex the former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Omar Farouk. And this is also for alleged um, laundering over 37 billion naira during her tenure through a contractor called James Okwete. <coughs> Although she has sort of um, removed herself mm. from this contractor, but she will be interrogated um, about it. But how Halima was um, um, was involved, or how she finally got arrested, is that it took the wedding in of the president because she had refused a direct directive to work with the minister, the current minister of humanitarian affairs, that's Dr. Bernard <coughs> Edu, to pay an outstanding and statutory stipend to beneficiaries of NPA. Um, they said that you remember the thirty thousand monthly. Yes payment that was supposed to be made to beneficiary, they said, but about 400,000 beneficiaries have still not received mm. the, their stipends. And she wasn't forthcoming on what was happening. And the interrogation showed that 17 billion was moved. So they're going to do the full yes, investigation, but this is what's on ground right now. All right, let me take the story. Go ahead. Yes, I have a story. Mm. So uh, we saw um, an investigative journalist um, who you know, published um, what he unraveled from a Kotunu-based university, how they were able to issue a degree certificate within just six weeks. And um, afterwards, I also saw that report online. And afterwards, the federal government uh, announced the suspension of evaluation and accreditation of degree certificates from neighboring Benin Republic and Togo. Finally. And he said, um, they said in um, a statement yesterday in Abuja by Augustina Obilo-Duru, on behalf of the Director of Press and Public Relations in the Federal Ministry of Education, the federal government, you know, also frowned at how, you know, Nigerians or other people are going about getting uh, fake certificates 
using dubious means in this universities and said they also commended the investigative uh, journalist for the work that he had done and um, they are saying that um, you know the reports that he gave was what led credence to all the things that they had suspected for a while now and so they are going to be uh, that's the federal ministry of education uh, is um, decrying the act and they are saying with effect from january 2nd 2024 they are suspending their evaluation and accreditation of the degree certificates from this universities from Benin Republic and Togo Republic. And they're also going to go ahead to investigate exactly how the staff were culpable, what um, you know, uh, validations they've gotten from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Nigeria and all the countries that are involved in this. They're going to be involved in the NYSC because most of those certificates they get, they also get into NYSC with the fake certificates. And uh, some persons called me yesterday. They wanted to be sure if we're going to have uh, discussion on the matter, saying that how about the people who are legal, legally attending the schools, mm. those who wrote their examinations, now that they're going to be suspending their evaluation, what is going to happen to legitimate students in those schools? Right. So maybe That's we'll find possible. a way to just... Uh, okay, so the federal government for the first time has published the 2024 budgets of 63 government-owned enterprise in the major move to open, um, uh, open them to scrutiny. According to the report, the first time governments would ever publicly make available the income and expenditure profiles of the GOCs. Civil society, anti-corruption groups and citizens' rights advocates yesterday hailed the decision to publish the budget estimates um, as an unprecedented first of its kind step to increase transparency and accountability. And specifically, um, the, um, the spokesperson for budgets herself, Nancy Odimegu, uh, commended the government for the unprecedented step towards transparency as it was the first time the government would be acceding to public clamor for insight into the budgets of major agencies and enterprises of government. Okay, moving on quickly now to the punch. NNPCL marketers clash over subsidy operators peg petrol at 1,200 naira to the liter. Five die in Japanese aircraft collision as earthquake kills 50. Somalu orders arrest of soldier riding one way. Talks ongoing for Kano's release, says Deputy Speaker. Plato killing similar to Rwanda genocide, says North Central governors. <clears throat> Big degrees, FG shots 18 foreign varsity campuses. Beneficiaries protest as banks begin COVID-19 loan recovery. And CBN bars crypto bank account operators from cash withdrawal. Okay, which story? It was a black new year in Japan with a 7.5 magnitude um, earthquake that rattled the Ishikawa um, prefecture on the main island of Hoshu, triggered by tsunami waves more than a meter high and sparked a major fire that tore apart Japan. <laughs> and in the same light, uh, Japan Coast Guard um, aircraft were you know, rammed into a Japanese airline plane on ground. And that, you know, led to a fire. The, although 379, fortunately, 379 passengers on that craft were saved, but the five crew members of the smaller Coast Guard um, plane died. And um, they lost about 50 people from the um, earthquake. Fire earthquake itself that happened. So it's just a lot of bad news happening really there sad. over there. It's really sad. Okay, which is, I think we should go to a quick break. Okay. Yeah. Come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.